Hello friends, Tanya here, and today we are going to make an elegant card using the new Hero Arts My Monthly Hero kit from January and the filigree frames, glimmer foil plate, and the beautiful Forever Hearts etched dies, for both from Spellbinders. I'm going to start out by stamping this sweet little bee in Hero Arts Intense Black Ink on some white cardstock. I do stamp it two or three times to get a good solid impression because we want those black stripes on the bees to be nice and sharp and solid. I'm going to take my Copic markers here. I have Y17 that I'm using right now to do the lightest color of the bees. And I do have several bees stamped here and I'm going to color all three of them on this one strip uh, during this video. <clears throat> so I'm just going to fill in with YR, excuse me, not YR, that is Y17, and this is Y19. And then the last color I will use is Y24. And that has that deep golden yellow color to it. <clears throat> These bees are super easy to color, and they really come to life with a little bit of of marker or watercolor. I would love to try this with watercolor. That might be another project I take on not too far from now. Just filling those bees in. When I saw this stamp set, I automatically thought of those beautiful monograms that you see with a wreath of or brackets or laurels of around a single bee. And I also had just received the Forever Hearts etched dies from Spellbinders and thought that those would look delicious behind that bee. I just thought that all of the elegant imagery of that together would really work well. I did use a little bit of W0 to color in a little bit of the bee's wings. And I'm using some clear Wink of Stella to add some sparkle to those wings before I finish with their coloring. I did get outside the lines a little bit, and you'll see me use a white gel pen here in a little bit to fix that problem. I have a couple of sizes. I think I have three sizes. This is a Sakura Jelly Roll in a size 5, and I think I have a 8 and a 10 also. The Images from the January 2021 My Monthly Hero Kit also have coordinating dies, which I love. I can fussy cut. I have gotten better at it. It's still not my favorite thing to do. And if there are dies, I will use them. Look at that. And I like the thinner border. So this is the Filigree Frames Glimmer Foil Plate Set. It was one of the Glimmer Foil Kits from, oh gosh, I'm not sure. I think it was uh, May of 2018, but I could be wrong. It is still available. I did check the shop. <clears throat> and since I don't have the slick little trimming kit from Spellbinders for the foils, I just use my scissor and a metal ruler. Usually that's enough. But if you don't get the tear started just right, it won't work. So I brought out my my uh, X-Acto knife, and I was using that to cut. But it leaves a metal or a shiny mark on your cutting mat, which you can get rid of with an alcohol wipe. Then I'm going to take the glimmer glimmer foil platform and put the that is polished brass. That is the name of the foil that I'm using. Put that shiny side towards the plate and then center my cardstock on that, put it back on the timer. And um, I, by the way, put that on the heating platform and heated it up while I did the sentiment. So I let it get a little overheated and it overfoiled um, and just use an eraser to get rid of that. So we're going to take a sentiment from the My Monthly Hero kit and we're going to stamp it in VersaFine Onyx Black 
which you can use to heat emboss with. And yes, I'm going to make a gold colored embossed sentiment with a black ink. Just you wait, you'll see. I did stamp it a couple of times. This is the brass Hero Arts embossing powder. I'm going to heat that and make it nice and shiny and you will see that it still is a lovely golden color. Brass is that nice deep um, gold color. To me it's still a gold. And then I'm using a Simon Says Stamp. I think this is the Sentiment Banners set. Nested Banners? Maybe it's Nested Banners. And I'm using my little sidekick here because I can't my big die cut machine does not fit under my camera. So if it fits in the little sidekick, I use it when I'm doing videos. And then we are using that um, Forever Hearts die from the newest re release from Spellbinders, the Expressions of Love. And I've used some gold vellum I have in my stash. I think I probably got that at Hobby Lobby. And I'm carefully peeling that out. I kept thinking it was for sure going to uh, tear because that heart is so delicate. But it didn't. And I really didn't have to um, work on getting much out of the die cut. So now we're going to start layering those pieces we've created all together. I did take that uh, craft colored um, panel and trim it down to four by five and a quarter. And then I did cut a couple more pieces, those little bees. I used that die and I cut from Coaster Blank so I could add some dimension. So I'm just going to glue those pieces together. So we're going to glue this to the vellum gold heart, just centering that on the heart. And then I'm going to put the other layer on the back so that it raises this whole heart off of the main panel nicely also. Just going to put a little heavy block on that for a few seconds to let that dry. <clears throat> and then I'm going to grab <clears throat> a standard A2 card base which is four and a quarter by five and a half when it's folded in half. And then I'm going to add a little bit of detail to the inside of the card. Sorry about that, had a frog in my throat. I am going to take the little honeycomb image and I'm going to put that in the corner of the card base. I'm going to take one of the other little bees in the stamp set to add another detail to this card inside. I'm going to pull out my Delicata Golden Glitz ink to stamp the honeycomb. And I do stamp it, I think, three times to get a nice, good, bold image. So Golden Glitz can be really light with one application, but it gets darker with each repetitive addition or layer of ink. I'm just going to clean that stamp off and put it over by my stamp set. And then I'm just, I'm not going to color this B in. I am just going to stamp him <clears throat> in black. And I'm going to use the Hero Arts Intense Black ink again. But I had to <laughs> clean off that golden glitz ink so it didn't transfer onto my black ink pad. I'm going to stamp that. I think it took three impressions to cover the golden glitz ink. It The golden glitz does want to move or pull through. I suppose the dye ink just absorbs in the paper while the golden glitz is uh, an ink that sits on the surface of the paper because it's more of a pigment ink. Um, you do have to think about that sometimes. It, I did get away with it. I guess a workaround for that would be to stamp the B on white paper and then die cut it and glue it over the top of the golden glitz. But this worked out for me. I'm going to add some coaster blank to the back of that panel to add a little dimension to my card. I am a bit addicted to that. <laughs> then I'm just going to glue that to the front of the card base. <clears throat> and we'll put um, the misty on top of that, add a little weight to help it dry nice and flat. I'm going to add a little more coaster blank to the sentiment make that a little raised up also, especially since it's going to sit over the top 
of that, the bottom edge of the heart. I had to make sure that I didn't um, glue everything on the wrong side of the card base. Thankfully, I did put it in the right spot, even though I looked after I'd already glued it. Just going to tack that little sentiment right on the bottom there. I love that it says, you're beautiful. And I think this card is beautiful. Look at the shimmer and shine of that glimmer. Thanks for spending part of your day with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in any of the products that were used in this video, check the description box below this video for a list of supplies with links to where you can purchase them. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.